Holy shit. Cal? Cal, wake up. Cal, where are you? Is this on your radar? Commander, I... I've never seen anything like this before. Neither, neither have I. But Cal, if you break on me now of all times, I swear. <coughs> God, this isn't... This isn't rain, this is dust. Like, ash. Cal, buddy, you better work with me. This isn't funny. Romero, I'm sure you already know, but I'm calling a code 2037 evacuation. Yes, sir. That means supplies, grab your stuff, we have to move. But how's Felix gonna know where we are? I don't... I don't know, we just have to... Cal is broken again, and we don't even know... You see that thing? Yes, of course we see it. Neither one of you are getting left behind inside of it. Keep Cal on your wrist. They're gonna be fine. Grab your stuff, your food, and go. What? Are you even listening to... Miles, Athena, go. Go now. Miles, we have to carry the supplies. I can't carry enough on my own. I need your help. We're not just gonna leave you to what? Catch up? Don't worry about me. Miles, she called the evacuation. Commander... You better not make a stupid choice. Come on, Miles. Pavilion, this is De La Cruz, 1066. Do you copy? I say again, De La Cruz to Pavilion, 1066. Do you read me? Felix, come in. We're waiting now, but we gotta go. The storm isn't letting up. Felix? This is Cavillian. 10 1. Cavillian to Dela Cruz. Do you read me? I got you, Felix. I got you. And I got flowers. I've got him. I've got a signal from Felix. Wait, what? You've got me. I've got flowers. What? I brought the. Oh. You crazy bastard. Do I give these to her now? Why not? I got some for you, for her, I mean. But crisis? Storm? Asina! Oh, Felix, thank God. Alex and Susan. What? Here? Bellator forces. What? There's flowers, they're for you, I hope you like them. Uh, Alex, I... Thank you. Wunderbar! Mission accomplished. Okay, I got the stuff. Was anyone gonna tell me that Felix wasn't dead? Hello. Uh, I'm your colleague, Felix. I'm not dead. Cavillian, I swear to- However upset you are, Miles, Officius is more upset at the moment. Ah! Which is why we need to go. Right, everyone, let's move. Futuristic Trail Mix Productions presents Microcosmos, a science fiction podcast. QD, this is Officer Athena Romero, comms officer with OEC 0137F. This is a 2074 code drag. I repeat, this is a 2074 code drag. CQD, CQD. Frag, CQD, requesting response from any OC channels. This is OEC 0137F, experiencing a code drag on a VHS-22. Imminent distress, Athena. CQD. We are experiencing completely unprecedented storm activity. We're caught outside. We didn't... <gasps> Athena, we have to move. Come on. Sir. You can fill them in later now. Let's get... Still outside, unprepared. 
no briefing on this. Alex? What in the hell is... QD, ZQD, come in, OC, requesting correspondence on channels 12 through 23. I say again, come in, OC, requesting correspondence channels 12 through 23. CQD, CQD. Can I have these readings sent down to neurology for analysis, please? Ensure the transmission is all kind as well. Come in. OC, come in. This is OEC 0137F. We are. Weren't you instructed to transfer those to neurology and psych? You know what would happen should we cut corners. I. I prefer quiet, please. I'd rather not miss a second of this. Requesting C Lons CQD on OC channels 12 through 23. Requesting C Lons CQD. OC, this is a goddamn distress signal. Requesting aid and C Lons CQD. Oh, do I need this transmission? Come in. Come in, OC. Do you read me? Come in. Come in. Ah. Miles. Come on, Abbott. We've got you. I'm okay, sir. I'm okay. I. Where's Cal? What? They were, they were on my wrist. I, no, 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 Callie. Cal, Callie, come on, buddy. No, no. You hear that? Is that? Cal! Oh crap, Miles. No. Here! Over here! Miles! Cal! You're okay? Yes, of course I am. I, I always am now. Why didn't you answer me? Shut up and run! He's, he's up ahead. He's... The voice, I can't tell. Up, up ahead, Miles. Keep going. Come. Come on. CQD. CQD. OC, come in. Come in. This is a code drag. Come on, Starshine. Go! Go! <laughs> Come on! Come on! Everybody in sight! Here! Here! Thank God. OC, this is OEC 0137F, stationed on a VHS-22. The 2074 code drag stands. We have very little bearing on where we are. The storm, it, it's messing with everything. Cal's GPS function and current climate data, even comms. I don't think that this is getting to you, HQ, but if it is, the CQD still stands. Please, whatever this storm is, it, it came on like something living. Anything you know, any way you can help, we'll, we'll be waiting. Woohoo! I'm sure that'll work better than it did the last million times. This one'll be the one miles. Not now. Hmm. Cal, uh, any progress? No, nothing yet. It just keeps giving me same coordinates I had on file since before the storm. It's frozen somehow, so no. Not, not until Miles can figure out how to get me across satellites that, that are 40,032 kilometers away from our current position. I've got, got nothing to tell you. Not like it would actually help. It's not like we're going anywhere. It sure is chilly in here. I have bare bones equipment, Cal. Even if we could get a reading, I know. Just... I just. How did I not see this coming? I was wondering the same thing. But hey, that what's that supposed to mean? I was just saying that this- Hey, you too. Not now. Please. Fine, what whatever. Oh. Hey, cut it out. What? Cut it out. We can hear you over there. <sighs> it is, in fact, 
Not my fault that the waters of our merry little band have turned frigid in the wake of a catastrophe. So I may have predicted it. And muttering to yourself is helping anything? You are very quick to shovel the blame onto anyone but yourself, my friend. Says who? Mr. Miles lost the tent? Are you really still upset about the tent? No, not... Well, not like that would help us now, but no. I'm upset that you never stop acting like you're smarter than everyone else just because... Because you think you're smarter than everyone else. Number one, no, I don't think that. So I doubt you'll believe me. And two, I... That's just... enough. Please. Infighting is doing nothing but making us stress. That's not what any of us needs right now. And I know that's a lot to ask, since we didn't prepare for something like this, but we won't be getting out the other side of it if we kill each other an hour in. So I don't want to hear it. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay. Thank you. I'm not gonna let us go nuts in here, guys. We've still got a... Well, let's see. Got some magazines, uh... A pad of paper that would be good for writing poetry. <clears throat> ha ha. What? Just saying. Got a few little snack size packages of candy and. Oh, would you look at that? Flashlight. And I actually remember to change the batteries. Anybody like shadow puppets? Uh, I, I do. Yeah, somehow that tracks. So, see, we've got plenty to keep us entertained. And a little good conversation is great for the soul. Good conversation being the operative word, sir. You're a fine conversationalist, Felix. I wasn't referring to myself. Yeah, that's not gonna fly. Abbott, what's in your bag? Uh, let me look. Um, I've got Dina's birthday present. It's in its uh, protective plastic bag. I could tinker with that, maybe. It's. It's fine as it is, Miles. Sure, if you say so. Um, I also have a pad of paper and a pen. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Didn't really pack a lot. That's one more pad of paper than we had. Felix? A harmonica, a puzzle book, a field guide, a deck of cards. Oh, hey, yeah, those should come in handy. Cribbage, maybe? Or Felix could lose a lot of go fish again. That sounds fun. Athena? Uh, same thing. I've got a little notebook here, a, a torch. This is mostly stuff for my comms and my pocket knife and my toothbrush. Oh. Oh, no. What? I. I lost the flowers. Oh. I'm sorry. I I thought they were in my bag, but they must have fell out or they're still out there. Hey, it's okay. I mean, you got here in one piece. I'd take you over some flowers any day. Plenty more flowers <laughs> in the storm, hmm? Plenty, Alex. Anyways, with what we managed to bring on top of our own packs, we shouldn't worry about a thing. As far as necessities, we've got enough. Enough to last. To last how long? More than enough to last us through a few days of stormy weather. Who knows? Maybe the storm will pass in an hour or two. Um, unlikely. What? Well, perhaps I shouldn't say that. What we're experiencing is colloquially referred to as a cinder burst on the planets where they naturally occur. Cinder bursts are characterized by high amounts of wind, th thunder, and lightning, and, and dry precipitation. They are typically confined to smaller planets with larger amounts of low-density dry soil. High volumes of static electricity provide explanation for the lightning, though an explanation for the ashy consistency of the precipitation is still a point of contention for scientists. Due to the fact that there have only ever been 11 on record on Omni Corporation Incorporated monitored celestial bodies within the last 20 years. Headquarters will need to be informed. Ugh, I hate when I do that. Oh. Okay. So, why does any of that matter? 